Well, hey, check this out. As part of our off-grid cabin home makeover slash super solar power and add a bathroom and all that stuff, we decided to add one more thing that the wife was always complaining about. Come check this out. So when you get up in the middle of the night and you gotta use the bathroom, it's, it's kind of scary. I mean, you don't know, there could be a moose, there could be a, a giant bear, an alligator. You have no idea what's outside. So if you gotta use the outhouse, this is your view. Yeah, there, there's nothing. So I added one of these. Boom, you got lights. I'll show you. See, there's lights. Probably super bright and you're probably looking at spots now for hours, but it was, it was upon the request of Phyllis. So we have lights outside. It is, it's awesome. Yeah. It's a safety feature. You think it's a safety feature? Well, kind of. We have less of a chance of dying now <laughs> by trampling or just general eating by a bear or as Phyllis said, falling down. And you want to talk about people that know about falling down. That's Phyllis. Phyllis, do you want to talk about falling down? No. No? Okay. Okay. My bad. I Might be a bad that. night for me, huh? Huh? <laughs> Come join us out here. Okay, well, until I can get my plumbing stuff for the bathroom, which I think that might be tomorrow or the next day, uh, we're gonna get started on this kitchen move. As you can tell, the bathroom is sheathed and that's all nice and the charging is done. But to move the kitchen over here, we gotta have a window right here, okay? Um, we get this window in, we're going to remove the rest of this gawky carpeting out of here and we're going to move the kitchen over here. Yeah. Not a lot of people move kitchens, but we're moving kitchens. So we're going to have that done. I'm hoping in the next couple of days, it's going to take me tonight and probably part of tomorrow to finish up installing the window. I may not get it trimmed out right away, but whatever. So <clears throat> yeah. I'll put you on time lapse and you can see some of this garbage happen. It's not fun, but let's get started. Put it back. Hmm. 
Okay, good morning folks. Today is the day that we have really been working towards and that is why we put the new window in, all the new outlets. I put one here so that we can have a light overhead um, on a switch. So I got an outlet on a switch there. Still got to trim out the window, but don't have any material for that yet. So today, um, you can see I got to start. I'm cutting out and removing half of the carpet from the house because this end is going to be the kitchen end. And you already know I despise having carpet in a kitchen. So we're taking that up. It's going to be tight in here because we have to try and fit. Phyllis is emptying out all the kitchen cabinets and putting it on the stairs. And we have to somehow more or less swap the cabin from end for end. So that's what we are working on right now. So uh, we are finally ready to start the big move here. I don't know. Who um, we are. Oh, we is you no. and the mouse in your pocket. Not ready. Okay. So we got the kitchen kind of cleaned up. Maybe I'm not, not cleaned up. No, no, no gucky. So we are going to move this piece by piece. We're going to start with the stove, then probably the middle section, which is not actually attached to the end section, which we're going to do some cool rearranging here that's going to give us more countertop space in the long run. So it's going to be pretty neat. Just to try to move it a little bit. Okay. The more you get it, the more I can fit back in. There's a lot of stuff on the floor. Okay. Careful, careful. Just a couple inches at a time is all we need to do. Okay, so better now. Take baby steps. Now you want my hand out, right? Yeah. Yes, I do. Found all the knives they lost. Um, we have it. That's working fine. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, you can't escape. <laughs> Look, a whack a mole. <laughs> um, yeah, we're we're getting it here. I'll turn the camera around. Okay, now Oy. can I rotate this without hitting the toilet? Push me. There we are. Look, I'm stuck again. Huh. It was, it was completely useless the way it was. All it was doing was holding up the, holding up the countertop. Basically. It's finished on this side too. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Maybe all we need is that. You got stuff stuck to the stove. Hey, let's take a look at why you don't put carpet in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, just a, just a quick aside here. And this was a cabin that people didn't use all that much. So imagine if they actually lived here. Um, so are you ready for this? Here we go. Yes, you see how you can clearly see the outline of the edge of the stove where everything was. And this, sadly enough, is the piece of carpet we're keeping. <laughs> the stuff where the kitchen now is, was actually pretty nice. And uh, yeah, it's gone. So here's what it's starting to look like here. Um, this is pretty nice, I gotta say. Why does it 
seem bigger. Oh, this. Well, I is mean, is it because of the light? They they had this cabinet here was stuffed back in the corner, which you couldn't even access the back side. I built this wall to come out so it fit the kitchen, and that's our utility bathroom. Um, so yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. What do you think, Phyllis? I think this is gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. That window yeah. is making a world of difference. Agreed. Yeah. Like I can do dishes and not need any light on or so what's yeah. what's the next challenge? Ah uh, <coughs> I don't know. Get the carpet cleaned. It's looking better. Yeah, noticeably. Yeah. You're never gonna get rid of the spots where the cabinet's set. Because that's what they did, set the cabinets on the carpet, which just causes me pain for a certain much time. Yeah. I gotta do the main walk back, so. What are you eating? Ramen noodles. <laughs> oh. no, nothing but the best for us. <laughs> Ah, but better yet, they're off-grid ramen noodles. Well, right. Did we source them from our own property? Yes. They This time of year, they uh, come up the river right after the salmon do. Salmon. And so they, they're a little fishy flavored. But <laughs> other than that, I mean, I, I think they're really good. Yeah, they're good for you. All natural. All, yes, all natural ramen noodles. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, today on this old cabin, um, we have, you can see I gave you a quick shot. We've got the kitchen kind of arranged how we want it. It's not finished. I'm gonna put a butcher block top here next to the stove. Obviously I need some shelves and some trimmer on the window and such. And the living room is kind of maybe situated the way we want it, not sure. We seem to have an extra couch now that doesn't really fit. Not entirely sure what to do with that. How do you like it so far, Phyllis? It's cozy, but like you said, I think we have an extra couch and way too big of a coffee table. What do you think of the kitchen, though? Oh, so much better. Yeah. I can do all my dishes washing without a light on. Yeah. That, that, that window is just spectacular. It is. I agree. It lets more light in the house than we can create unnaturally. Um, so we done good. yeah, I think we did. I think we did. Um, today, what we are working on is trying to get some running water, albeit not from a well, um, but from a tank. But at least we'll have pressurized running water and some hot water as well. So what I hot water heater. Yeah, what I've got here. This is a twelve volt pump. Um, the same thing as what you find in an RV, just in here. This was underneath the sink when the sink was back in its old place and ran off some 12 volt batteries. Uh, that I'm gonna mount up here to the wall. I'm gonna actually build kind of a construction panel here where the pump is drawing directly out of the tank and going into the water heater and then teeing off and going to both cold sides. Um, you can see I've got the shower head up there already got some more trimming to do and then the back here i'm ready to get started on that so i will probably time lapse this for you and uh i don't know see how far we can get today we're gonna have to get our own water and this is gonna be our reservoir um it's a 30 gallon plastic tank so what i started off with doing is i drilled a hole if you can see in one of the caps and that's where my half inch packs from the pump for the supply is going to is going to feed into now the pump that we're using will lift uh, 10 feet that's the maximum head on it 
So you want to keep your pump as close to the supply as possible um, just to make it last longer. So, and I don't know how old this pump is. Technically this pump, I researched it, is made for uh, a sprayer application, whether it be, you know, spraying trees or whatever it is, apple trees, that sort of thing. Um, so we're going to start, even though the wall isn't sheathed, I'm going to put a construction panel on here so I've got a solid spot to mount all this stuff and have hoses running through. So let's do that. Phyllis, you want to give me a hand quick? Do it. Can you hold this up? It's going to be centered on the studs. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Stop breathing. Thank you for your help, Miss Phyllis. Oh, not a problem. I'm here all day. Good deal. Every, all the plumbing that I'm going to do here is out of PEX. Um, I'm using two different style fittings. The ones are just the straight crimp on um, because I have the tool for it. And the other ones are these shark bite ones. I, I don't know. They're, they're really expensive for sure. I could buy like 25 of the other ones for what one of these costs, but they say that they really last, but I haven't been out long enough to know what happens in 10 to 15 years if they just fall off or what happens. But when I've used them, they are really easy to put together. It's kind of nice. So we're going to do that. It's really important when, when you use packs to use something like this. It's actually made for cutting it, and that way you get a nice square cut every time. If you cut it, you can cut it with a with a utility knife, but if it's not square, especially going into these um, shark bite fittings, then you may not get a good hold on it, and it may leak. The goal is to have no leaks. So then, I'm going half to three quarter because I'm going to a three quarter T, the bigger, I know it's not 100% right, but I have to do another T off of that and I wanna make sure that I've got enough flow. Yeah. If it's too much. So right now, right now. I have converted Phyllis into a full-time plumber. And how's it, how's it going in there? It's, this is nice. Is it as comfortable as I told you it would be? Yeah, well it's as comfortable as it was when I, dry fitted it it uh, just make sure it's nice and square when you hook it on and like bend it straight first well if the what thing is coming out at an angle so oh 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 that's right give yourself plenty though so that it can be straight we can always we can always anchor it in there too if you're worried about it you know what would be really helpful in here right now i don't know Lester. Oh, Lester Pete's. He was a pretty anti-helpful cat. Yeah, he would be under the sink here with me. Make sure it's nice and square. Thanks. Yep. Are you ready for some swearing for me again? Sure. Okay. Always ready for it. What are you doing? Well, I know what I have to do now. Yeah, me too. It <laughs> uh, definitely brings that out of you. Um, well, there's... Are we ready to test? Should have enough in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would say, okay, now, you see how I got the pump set up? The yeah. pump is the toggle switch. Go ahead and hit that. Um, and then go to the kitchen. Go to kitchen, open a faucet. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 
Test the shower. Okay. Check for leaks. Really Watch out for that. First. Whoa! Good drop. Right, Adam? Yeah. Try the shower. You just turn the pump off. running water. Yes, yes. Um, the only complaint I would say is that pump's a little loud. Yeah. Um, I assume it's partly because it's mounted to the wall and that's kind of acting like a big tuning fork. I don't really know much about those pumps, but it, we got it in the kitchen too. We've got hot and cold. It only does that going through the hot. I wonder if the, I wonder if that uh, water heater is restricting it. Possibly. Oops, I'm holding it backwards. So, Phyllis, what do you think of your new kitchen? I kind of really like it. Yeah? Yep. I mean. Why don't you give us a little walkthrough? A walkthrough? Yeah. Just a rotate, you mean? Pretty much, yeah. So this. It was just a freestanding little island. It's supposed to have wheels on it, but we haven't gotten there yet. Okay. We added that, but. So, we are set up. We got cupboards up top. I will be painting them. So what color are you gonna paint them? White. Why white? Because everything else is brown. Gotcha. So. Um, so you got some neat storage here on the wall? Yeah. <clears throat> what you got in there? Ooh, All sorts spam. of spam. Love spam it. Spam and potatoes. What more do you need? That's awesome. Okay. My window in front of the sink. Yes. yes. That turned out very nice, didn't it? Yeah. Glad we went with the bigger one. Uh-huh. That was your idea. No, I mind. Yeah. Um, my coffee station. Coffee station. Speaking of which, we still have to get the oh, sign yeah. up. We gotta get the coffee sign up. Darn it. Okay. The light over the stove. Very nice. Very nice. And then we got the, oh, dirty butcher block. Yep. And that is very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. So, all in all, would you say it's a success? Uh, yeah. Okay. You done good? Well, we done good. So, it was, it was a fun project, I guess, mostly. But, um... <laughs> More importantly, it was necessary to make the, the usability. This is not a cabin to us. This is our home. Right. So um, we really need it to be usable. Oh, so. and oh. yeah, what? the water's been working great. We can take showers. Yeah, the water's <laughs> awesome. It's crazy. We're taking showers inside the house. It's yeah. We're still the... the, the a little smelly. The, the toilet part is still Bluetooth out in the, the old outhouse there, but... <laughs> Um, it makes for kind of a chilly walk in the morning, but mm -hmm. we'll get used to it. it. Gets the blood flowing better than coffee, I think. Yeah. 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 Or frozen, one of the two. But well, it warms up first and then freezes. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe even learned something. I don't know. Um, next episode we're going to have is going to be kind of cool. We're going to show you how to cook in a new way, but not that new. It's been around. And we got something new for the side-by-side -side because we are working feverishly here to get ready for winter. So until then, this is Adam and Phyllis from Alaska Cut the Cord. And make sure that you like and subscribe. All right. Love you. Bye.